The selection of Silver Spring and now ITRON was really predicated on the fact that they were the ones that had the technology. From a network mesh design perspective, it looked like they had the most flexible solution to meet the demands of not only the, the rural areas, but specifically the challenges that we have in Manhattan. The ability to no longer have to visit customer homes to, to read meters. From an operational excellence standpoint, this means that the company doesn't have to inconvenience the customer every time they need to read the meter. Some of the operational benefits that we're already starting to see, we're starting to leverage the remote connect disconnect capabilities of the meters. Customer interaction has been great because we've been able to do real-time turn-ons with them on the phone. We've been able to do real-time turn-offs um, for collections purposes. The deeper that we get into this effort and the more data that we collect, it really is about machine learning. It's about making the system smart enough to learn how to adapt to different scenarios that are out there. And at the end of the day, the real-time data that's coming in is used to make real-time operating decisions. You can't operate on 15-minute old data, right? It's just you're making decisions that are behind the eight ball. And from a control center perspective and from a transmission operation perspective, you know, the closer to real-time you can get, um, the more accurate your operating decisions are going to be. It allows you to take what historically for Con Edison has been a very reliable utility and allows you to push that boundary and make the utility even more reliable. It allows you to put predictive analytics behind where your system failures are. It allows you to really target the equipment programs that you need in order to make reliability-based investments and operational decisions. What's exciting to me is the ability to have an open grid architecture that other developers can leverage and bring sensor information back onto without having to go through the effort of investment in the wireless technology. You start to think about smart streetlight programs, you know, that's a cost savings overall. That's an energy efficiency program, that's energy reduction. Um, it all contributes to the energy vision of, of where New York State ultimately is headed to.